Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to design content structure of your website and how the URL is getting formed with your content. So in document based authoring, each document represent one page, one main page. Obviously, you can refer a another document in your document, but on your page, HTML page, each main content of that page represented by one document. There are separate documents for the header and footer. There are always a separate document for header and footer. One document can be included or reuses in other document as I mentioned. So the how page is structured. We have a document, Google Doc or SharePoint, inside SharePoint. One document for header, one document for footer and that's standard. The main content of that page is rendered by one document. You can refer a piece of another document inside your document, main document, but your main content is represented by one document. Name of the document is very important. So the name of that document means whatever name you add for that document in your Google Drive or SharePoint is used in URL means while forming that URL that name is used and which path that document is that is also considered while get while forming a URL you are not creating those URL that URL is formatted by itself I'll explain that and I'll show you a demo as well this is there's one exception for the landing page if you have landing page your landing page name should be indexed always right let's say if you have multiple subsections let's say when I hit a URL or domain it will land to the main page means home page that name should be index uh, there you can obviously change those later but I'll talk about the boilerplate code what are the standard provided by Adobe for now if you have subsections let's say you have blog and you have CMS which I'll explain with the example later so inside that also the landing page of particular section can also be index index page means name of that document should be indexed we'll see that in demo for example for example in our example means in previous tutorial as well i created the docs inside eds folder so i'm assuming this is the main repository or main directory inside my google drive to store the content of this website here i'll create two pages about and tech and two folders blog and cms so i want these are my subsections where i want to keep the document related to blog and cms in respective these folders i created one more document with name index now inside blog folder i created three documents uh, index blog one blog two inside cms i created two documents and one subfolder means again there is this nested subfolder index cms1 and the folder name is aem inside aem i created index cloud and ams so this is the structure inside google drive inside google drive or sharepoint wherever whatever you are using so how these documents will be mapped to url right when you hit that in browser so what happened when you hit the main domain Let's say a domain is domain.com. When this is mapped to this repository or this website, so it will render this page always. You are not mentioning this anywhere, but this is the standard. It will render this page when you hit domain. If you want to access other page, so what you do, even those are page at the same level, but let's say domain.com and tag. If you want to access this page, page so you will be accessing like this domain slash tag even those are on the same level keep in mind now let's say I want to hit this blog page and this is the just a subsection the landing page of this blog is this one index as I said landing page name should be index so when I hit domain slash blog slash slash then it will render this page if i want to hit any other page i can do it using this let's say domain what are the name of folder here this is the name of folder this one blogs and the name of the document the name of the document in google drive is this blog one so you will say domain then the folder path in my google drive and the name of the document 
so that's how you access these documents and that's how the url is getting formed again the same if you want to hit this cms slash so you will be rendering this page and for a specific page obviously you will be writing domain cms one cms because this is the name of my folder and then cms one right this one for the cms one and this is for this page right and for this this will be rendering this index page same for the nested subfolder as well let's say i want to hit, hit this page so what i'll do i'll say this cms and aem because this and uh, now i came to this folder till here and which is the landing page index so when i hit this it will render this page and again for rest of the other pages obviously i'll follow the path so how you should execute how you should enter url or how the url is getting formed first the domain domain will render the index page in my root directory then the folders whatever the name of the folder and then if you have a specific page you have to mention that page otherwise you have to mention the blog means folder name with slash right it will always and always execute index now there's a one thing you need to understand here which is important if you are accessing a folder so you have to add a slash here you see the slash at end right it will render this page which is the index if you are accessing only page means the document then you don't need to add slash here so if you see here i did not add slash so when i hit this this page will execute so these this is this can be a good question initial interview question if you want to take it so slash for the folders and that will render the landing page means which is the index page without slash you will be accessing a specific document now let's have quick demo i will create these pages and then we'll see how the url is getting formed it, obviously it will url will be getting formed as i explained but let's have this with a demo so this is my google drive obviously this is my parent folder inside this i created blog cms and these are my main page fold footer nav and nav footer and nav are the special documents which are used to header and footer index because this is in my root folder so whenever i hit uh, domain this page will access means this document will be used to render the page now if i go here blogs i created three blogs in uh, in blog one blog two and index i'll show you i'll open these and show you how it works again inside cms i have aem and cms1 aem is a folder cms1 is a document inside this again index and this uh, cloud and ams all are documents so if i open this let me open this and if your sidekick doesn't open so either you can pin it here so that you can see ideally what happened that your sidekick will open itself but if doesn't just click on this so it available now and you can say preview preview now yeah preview and live both are available you see this is the uh, index index so if i open preview here see this is my landing page is happening right it am and slash so this what happening this page it went to cms it went to aem here let me close this it went to you can see the path here cms aem and when i hit aem slash so it is showing this page let me open this quickly so that you can see doc content so this is the content right this is this is uh, rendering this page for example let me copy this first for example uh I want to let's say EDS. I want this landing page for blog. The index is a landing page. So how will you create URL for this? Come here and it's a blogs, blogs, and that's it. Because inside blogs, if you see, this is the folder blogs. I want to access the landing page of it, and landing page is always index. So if I hit this this page whatever is this page it has this is the blog home page and if i hit this this should be rendered this one 
see this is happening i did not mention index here but if i want to in you know access any page let's say blog one so if i say now even those are though parallel but landing page is specific page it say blog blog one now i'm not adding slash here see this is blog one and blog two that's it so these are two point you need to keep in mind folder when you hit folder with forward slash it always try to find index inside it okay if if there is a specific page that will look for the specific document with same name inside that folder so let's say uh, i'm in blog if i unpublish this page okay not unpublish i have to delete this page and then i will unpublish this page so uh, let me delete this page for now index let me delete this okay move to trash so this has been delete now if i it's a not found no not this i have to add slash so it's still available so but you'll see it is showing here delete right whether you want to delete uh, because that the source is not available right the source is not available and i am on preview i'm not on live so you see the dot page which i have already explained in previous tutorial so it is saying that that document has been removed you want to remove it so let's delete this here from here as well now if you hit blog slash blogs right now the index page is not available so it should give 404 because this is a cache so let me add see this 404 right that means when you hit a folder name with forward slash it will look for the index inside that folder inside that directory if so if it doesn't find it will give you 404 that's how landing page is always index page and for the other pages those are on even the same level those should be accessed with the same name same name as the document i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you